all praise to the Most High, all praise to the Most High. First off, I want to start off and give all praise to the Most High. We say, call the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Barakata. Who are we? We're the Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to bid our people to the marriage, right? We out here to rip up, lift up that righteous remnant of our people, man, right? And condemn this wicked society, Could condemn this wicked nation, right? That put our people in captivity, right? That are against everything holy in this holy Bible. You see that? We're up here to rise up the seed of Jacob, right? We are here to raise up the heritage of Jacob, right? Because we're looking for that righteous remnant, right? Where are our people at? Where's the righteous uh, men at? Where's the virtuous women at? You see that? Where's the virtuous women at? Where's the righteous, where's the righteous remnant of our people at? You see that? These heathens want to come through and they think that this book belongs to them, right? That's our book, right? The, the scripture calls the Lord the God of Israel, not the God of these other nations, right? How, how in the world can our oppressor and the oppressed have the same God? It makes absolutely no sense, None. right? That's madness, man. We are here for the righteous remnant of our people, right? The Lord sent us out here to gather our people together, right? How else is the Lord going to gather his people if he don't send the prophets out here, if he don't send the apostles out here in this last day, right? We don't have much more time, Israel, so we got to we gotta uh, get, gather ourselves together, right? We got to be in that Zephaniah 2 and 1 spirit, right? Where are the righteous men that are going to gird their loins up in these last days, right? Where's the virtuous women at that are trying to keep these commandments and follow these high holy days, man, right? right? Give me uh, give me Proverbs chapter 11, verse 28, and give me uh, Matthew chapter 16, and start at verse 13, right? Because our people, man, they've gone under, they've gone for false idols, man. They've gone over idols that they see in the society, right? Our people are going the hell off, man, and it's time for us to gather our people uh, together, right? Drop that, man, and give me uh, Hosea 10 and 1, right? Because we love our people, man, right? We love our people, we gotta gather our people together, right? Here it is, we're going in the so-called holiday spirit and our people are, are built up with that Christmas spirit, right? How in the hell are you dealing with Christmas, man, when Christmas is a pagan holiday? That's right. You see that? You're supposed to be celebrating Feast of Dedication. You're supposed to be getting ready for Purim, right? You're supposed to be getting ready for Passover, right? But this world shoves Christmas down your damn throat, man. It's damn madness out here, man, right? Glenwood Avenue, man. Wicked as hell, man. Right? Read what you got, King. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 10 and verse 1. Bring it up. Israel is an empty vine. What the Lord said? Israel is an empty vine. And that's what I that's what I think every time I come out here on Glenwood Avenue. Right? Our women want to walk around uh half naked. Right. Right? Our women want to walk around half naked showing their bodies off. And our men want to walk around effeminate with that wicked ass a feminine spirit, man, right? Just like damn so-called Ice Spice, man. You see Ice Spice, she getting on stage showing her damn body off, man. Right. Got her damn butt cheeks hanging out her damn uh, clothes. Makes absolutely no sense at all. And these are the people that our children look up to. You see right. that? These are the uh, people that our, that our little, uh, our kids, our daughters and our sons look up to, right? We gotta stop looking up to these celebrities uh, and, and, and idolizing these damn celebrities because they lead our people astray. It's like blind leading the blind, man. How you looking up at these entertainers and you and you treating them like some kind of idols, man? When all they do is worship damn money, right? All they do is spread the wickedness of this world, man, right? That's why we hate this damn world. That's why this place got to be burned up. You see that? This place has to be destroyed because all it is is a bunch of iniquity. All it is is a bunch of weak wickedness and a weak feminine spirit out here, man. And our women want to try to rule over us. And the men want to have wicked ass spirits on them. Start that from the top, King. Hosea 10 and 1. Uh -huh. Israel is an empty vine. Uh -huh. He bringeth forth fruit unto himself according to the multitude of his fruit. He hath increased the altars according to the goodness of his land. And that's what I see when I see our people out here, man. Right? Our people out here full of sin. Our people out here full of iniquity, right? It's like an empty vine, man, right? What is our culture, man? What is our ancient language, right? right? So-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, you are the Israelites of the Bible. You are the Jews of the Bible, right. but they don't want to tell you that. You see that? They don't want to tell you your true nationality. 
Everybody in this world knows their nationality but us. They give us byword, proverbs, according to Deuteronomy 28, right? And we don't know where we come from, man. They call us Native Americans. They call us Latinos, right? They call us so-called black men. But what is our true heritage? What is our true nationality? What land do our people come from? Give me that Proverbs 11 and 28, right? Read what you got, King. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 16, verse 13. When Yahweh Shai came into the coast of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, and others Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. See that? Who, do, who, do, who did Christ come out here and die for, man? Right? Who did the king of Israel die for, man? He died for all people, man. You see that? He's not He's not the savior of all nations, man. He's the savior of Israel. Right? Drop that and give me Luke uh, 16. And give me uh, Luke 16 and 13, King. Right? Because our people, they worship the things of this world. They don't worship righteous uh, acts. Right? When you look at righteous and you try to hold yourself up righteous... That, that's uh that's foreign to our people, right? Our people don't like to uh hold up what's true to this Bible. Right. Our people like to uh our people like to fantasize about wickedness. Our people like to glorify wickedness, right? Our women walking around like gold diggers worshiping money, right? You try to be righteous, you try to be stand up, right? And the sisters, man, they look down on you, man. Right? But they'll go after a, ain't that right, cause I they'll go after a brother like like uh little dirt. Right? right? And this brother spreads nothing but wickedness, spreads nothing but evilness in the earth. You see that? And chicks fall all over him, man. That's how you can tell this place is wicked, man. Right? You try to be a righteous brother, right? You try to guide your family, right? You try to be, uh, uh, stand forth and damn, and, and girding your loins up, right? And they don't like that spirit, right? The women don't like that, uh, that manly spirit. They want a weak brother. They want a brother spreading, uh, uh, uh wickedness and unrighteousness. You see that? That's madness, man. Our people, they glorify the wrong things, right? The scripture says you can't serve two masters. Either you're going to serve the Lord or you're going to serve the world. You see that? Bring that out, King. It's the book of Luke, chapter 16, verse 13. No servant can serve two masters. What the Lord say? No servant can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other. But the scripture says no, no servant can serve two masters, right? Who do you serve, man? Do you serve the uh, lust? and the unrighteousness of this world, right? Are you caught up in the iniquity of this world? Are you gonna serve the, uh, the Heavenly Father, right? Are you gonna keep these commandments? Are you gonna try to guide over your family and gather together with your nation, man, right? The Lord said once we turn to him and repent, the Lord will hear our cries, man. But all our people wanna do is come out here on Glenwood Avenue and have a good damn time. All our people wanna do is celebrate the wickedness of this world, man. Our people gotta wake up, man. You see that? Our people gotta wake up and get away from their damn oppressor, man. Right? They got their foot on your damn neck, and all you wanna do is love your enemy. Read your precept, King. This is the book of First Kings, chapter two, and uh, I'll start at verse two. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and shew thyself a man. Verse three, and keep the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in His ways, to keep His statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses. You see that? And that's the duty of man, to keep these commandments, right? To keep the testimony of Moses, man, right? To follow these scriptures, man, right? Except our people, man, they're caught up in iniquity. Our people's had their oppressor's foot on their neck for so long, all they want to do is worship uh, sin. All they want to do is worship the idols of this world, man. The scripture said the idols of this world is false, right? There's only one true living God, and our people got to come back to the commandments, right? Read what you got in Proverbs, King. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, and verse 28. Uh -huh. He that trusteth in his riches shall fall. What the Lord said? He that trusteth in his riches shall fall. Yeah, our people, man, they glorify money these days, right? right? Our, poor, our people, they glorify riches, right? How much money you got in your bank account, right? How many damn, uh, how many damn cars can you drive, right? How big is your damn house, man? None of that means nothing when this place is gonna get destroyed, man. You see that? Nothing. None of that means nothing 
when uh when Russia sends in missiles over here and destroys this damn wicked place, right? You caught up and you and you thinking about money all damn day, and all you want to do is worship money, right? You will work sixty hours for your oppressor, the so-called white man, but you won't come out here and do the Lord's work, right? You got these keyboard warriors, right, out here typing uh thirty words a minute, right? And they won't come out here and do none of the works. Bring but they want to criticize every brother that comes out here and does the work. Bring you got something? Bring it out. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 9. Bring it out. The heart is deceitful above all things. What the Lord say? The heart is deceitful above all things. What else? And desperately wicked. Who can know it? You see that? The scripture says the heart is, is wicked above all things, man. Right? You got You can't be going off of your heart, man. Right? You got to be going off of these commandments. Because even your heart will lead you to the wrong way. Right. Your heart will deceive you, man. Right? Your heart will have you uh, worshiping money out here. Worshiping the riches of this uh, world. You see that? Read what you got. Verse 10. I, Yahweh, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. What are you, what are you, what are you uh, meditating on these days, man? Right? What is your brain occupied on, man? Are you occupied on the uh, on the wickedness of this world, right? Or is your heart on this uh, on these scriptures, man? Right? Are you meditating on this word, right? Are you meditating on the uh, uh, the word of uh, uh, of the world, man? Right? Call up in your oppressor, man. Right? The money. That's what that's what this is about, man. That's what our people love, man. They love money, man. They love having a good damn time. They love glorifying these celebrities, man. Hey, look at Fat Joe. Fat Joe just came out. And he said 95% of the stuff he says in his raps was false, man. You see that? This is our people lying, man. Our people lying and worshiping money. And, and spreading that damn hate, man. If you're coming out on record and you're spreading just killing your people, right, and glorifying violence against your own people, man, what are you really doing? Bring out your precept, Bob. Right? This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 12. And verse 20. Bring it out. Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil. What the Bible say? Deceit is in the heart of them that imagine evil. But to the counsels of peace is joy. Verse 21. There shall be no evil happen to the just, but the wicked shall be filled with mischief. You see that? Nothing's going to happen to the heart of the just, man. Right? The scripture testifies to that, man. Right? When our, when our forefathers were just, the Lord let them live a long life. Right? But your ass was wicked, man. Your ass died by the sword. Right? The Lord have you look at King Saul. Right? He got took out, man. But King David, he was able to live as an old man. 70, 80 years old. You see that? That's madness, man. The Lord will take you out, man, if you don't keep these damn commandments, man. Right? You out here guiding your people the wrong way. You out here worshiping damn money, man. Right? You out here worshiping the ways of America, man. America lets you birth your baby. Right. America let you be a, a homosexual, right? America let you be a damn trans man, man, right? <laughs> country, America let you cut your kids' uh, private parts off, man. Make that make sense, man, right? And and, and and the thing is, they call that good, uh, Officer Mahar, right? If, 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 you, if you teach up against abortion, they call you evil, man. That's that Isaiah 5 and 20 spirit, man, uh -huh. right? Woe to them that call evil good and good evil, man. And that's what America does. That's the spirit on America these days, man. Right? Go ahead and uh, change your gender, man. Show me in the Bible where the Bible says you can pick your gender. Right? The Bible says you're either going to be a man or a woman. Adam or Eve, man. Right? Our people got to get out of that damn mind state. Our people got to stop having that wicked damn spirit on them, man. Give me uh, give me uh, John chapter 6, verse 27, man. Give me uh, uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 26, man. Right? Because our people, they glorify the wrong things. Our, our people glorify earthly riches, right? The Heavenly Father, he said to try to build up spiritual wealth. You're trying to build up wealth in the kingdom of heaven, right? Not this earthly wealth. What are you going to do when Russia destroys this place? And what are you going to do when you got 100 grand in your bank account? Not a damn thing, right? How are you going to eat off of money that ain't worth nothing, right? What good is gold and silver if you can't, if you can't feed yourself, right? Because that's going to be a time where people's hoarding food, right? You ain't going to be not be able to do nothing with a gold chain when you're looking for food to eat. You see that? When they close these grocery stores down, right? That's madness, man. 
Our people gotta wake the hell up, man, and stop glorifying that money God, right? Let these other nations uh, live off of money, man. Let these other nations glorify money, man. Yeah, we need money to survive. I ain't telling nobody not to have a job and take care of their family. But are you glorifying money or are you glorifying the Heavenly Father, man? Let these other nations deal with that, right? Show me in the scriptures where our forefathers begged for money. Show me in the scriptures where our, our forefathers glorified money, right? King Solomon, he asked for wisdom. And look what the Heavenly Father gave him. You see that? This is madness out here, man. Right? And these damn celebrities, they got our people in the wrong way, right? Ice Spice showing her damn body off, right? Look at uh, P. Diddy, man, right? P. Diddy is finished, man, right? And he ain't, he ain't been uh, he ain't been caught up in court yet, but how many witnesses are gonna come out against this man? You see that? Read that Matthews for me, King. It's the book of Matthew, chapter six, verse 26. Bring it out. Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap. The Lord said, look at the birds of the air, man, right? They neither reap nor sow, man, right? But what happens to them, man? Don't the Heavenly Father take care of them? Yep. Right? You so caught up and worried about money that, that you turn that into your damn God, man. Right? Your money, your clothes, your fashion. Right? How big of a car I can drive, right? right. Let me get that big house on the hill, man. Show me where that's going to bring you salvation. Show me where that, that's going to save you, man. Read on what you got, kid. Nor gather into barns, yet your Heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? And why take ye thoughts for raiment? You see that? Aren't you much better than these animals that the Lord created? Right? Aren't you the uh, aren't you the uh, servants of the Heavenly Father? Right? Didn't that didn't the Father put a spirit on you to be a saint out here? You see that? But our people they labor for the wrong thing. Our people go to work sixty hours a week and labor for the right, so-called white man, right? But we don't do nothing for the Heavenly Father. You can memorize all these CDs, all these new songs, but you can't quote one Bible verse, man. Right. Make that make sense, uh, King Shalot. That makes no sense, King, right? right? Hey, they, other than John 3.16. That's right, that's, that's the only scripture they know, man. John 3.16 is the only scripture our people know, right. right? Because they don't spend no time reading this word, man, right? They say that they're a righteous people, and they say they believe in God, and they some of them even go to church, but they can't quote one Bible verse, right? That's because they don't read this thing. It's underneath the uh, it's underneath the TV. It's in the bookshelf collecting dust, man. Right? You bought a Bible ten years ago and you ain't picked it up yet, man. Right? Our people got to get out of that spirit, man. Our people got to wake up, man. Read what you got, King. Read something. What you got? What I got? This is the book of John. Chapter 6 and verse 27. Bring it out. Labor not for the meat which perish. What the Lord say? Labor not for the meat which perish. Our people labor for the wrong things, man. Our people are labor to build up this nation. Our people are labor to build up these other nations, man. But they won't labor for the Lord. They won't come out here and do none of these none of the Lord's work, right? They rather sit behind a computer and pick their boogers and type on a computer, man. Right. Our people rather sit behind the TV and watch them reruns all damn day. They won't come out here and do none of the Lord's work, man. Our people got to wake up, man. Read what you got, King. Labor not for the meat which perish, but for the meat which endureth unto everlasting life, which the Son of Man shall give unto you. See that? And that's what Christ was trying to do. That's what the Messiah was trying to do, man. He was trying to gather the fold up, gather up the disciples, right, and give them that meat that ain't going to perish, man. Read, read your precept, King. This is the book of First Timothy. Uh, 6 and 10 For the love of money is the root of all evil What the Lord say? For the love of money is the root of all evil what else? Which while some coveted after They have erred from the faith And pierced themselves through with many sorrows You see that? You see that? That, that? that love of money will take you from the faith man You see that? Give a man a billion dollars and watch how much temptation a brother's gonna have, man. Right? Look how much temptation you have if you're gonna be a rich man. That's why the Lord said it's hard for a rich man to get into the kingdom of heaven. Because he's got all this temptation on him. You see that? You gotta be wise, man. Right? Nobody's saying there's nothing wrong with having money. Right? But you can't make it your God. You see that? You can't glorify the things of this world. Right? You need to be building up 
Heavenly vision. You see that? Give me all Proverbs 11 and 4. You got something, King? You're supposed to be building up heaven, uh, heavenly riches, man. Right? You ain't supposed to be help building up this other, uh, up these other nations, man. The hell with these other nations, man. They put you in damn slavery. Right? They come and took your damn land. Right? Why you want to build up this wicked ass country, man? Right? Makes me damn sick. I'm working at Pinehurst, and you can feel that damn white supremacy spirit out there today, man. Hate this damn place, man. Right? You gotta wake up every day knowing these people stole your land and they hate your damn guts, man. And they tell you to forget about it. And they wonder why you're angry, man. It makes no sense. Give me that Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Right? They wonder why you're angry, man. Bring out what you got, King. This is the book of Proverbs 11 and 4. Riches profit not in the day of wrath. What the Lord say? Riches profit not in the day of wrath. What else? But righteousness, or Salakia, but righteousness delivereth from death. You see that? Riches profit nothing in that day of wrath, man. Right? When did our forefathers beg, and beg the Lord for money, man? Right? The, hey, the scripture says that the Lord gave David everything he needed. And the Lord said, if you needed more, I would have gave you more. You see that? Last time I checked, uh, King uh, Kazak, the Lord gives the increase, right? Don't the Lord give the increase, right? That's why all this stuff is vain, man. Give me that in Ecclesiastes 1 and 14, right? Because everything we see out here is vain, man, right? We, we, we try to uh, search out them righteous treasures, man. We're trying to get re treasures in the kingdom of heaven, right? The hell with this wicked ass place, man, right? The Lord's going to destroy this place and everything in it, man. And let's our people damn repent, right? Our people got to come back to the Heavenly Father. That's what we're out here to do. Try to guide our people. Which we love our people, so we're trying to tell them the right way. You see that? Bring out what you got, King. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7. I'm going to go to 5 and then jump down to 7. Verse 5. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fool. You see that? It's better to hear the rebuke of the wise then the songs are full. That's our job to come out here and teach you, man. Right? Hey, they say that we're a, uh, they say that we're a so-called hate group, right? That we hate our people. But we're just teaching them out of the words out of the Bible, man. Right? Our people have spent all their money and all their time going to concerts. They uh, memorize all this wicked ass music, but they don't want to hear this. That's right. Just like Noah, man. That's how you can tell that this is true. Nobody gave Noah an ear. Nobody hearkened to the word of Noah. You see that? Nobody want to listen to Noah, right? And they don't want to listen to us. Our people love evil and they hate righteousness. You see that? Our people love evil, man, and they hate righteousness, man. But it's our job to build our people to the marriage, right? We doing our job. You see that? We coming out here and we bidding our people to the marriage. We trying to bring our people back to the fold, right? We know the Lord is going to bless us, man, because we out here doing the work, right? We coming straight out the Holy Bible and breaking this thing down. So anybody can understand it, right? We want our people to understand this thing, right? They hate on us and they talk and they say nothing about uh, nothing but evil stuff about us. But we out here doing the Lord's work, right? Nobody listened to Noah when he told him that the Lord was going to destroy everybody on the earth. You see that? This is what kind of God that rules this uh, uh, earth, man. This is what kind of God that created this place. He was able to destroy everybody in the earth except for eight people, man. Right. And the Lord and the people think the Lord is playing, man. That's right. Right? Read that again, King. Uh, pick up where you stopped at. Come. It's the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 5. Uh -huh. It is better to hear the rebuke of the wise than for a man to hear the song of fools. Uh -huh. For as the crackling of thorns under a pot, so is the laughter of the fool. This also is vanity. You see that? And that's what they do, man. They come by, they crack their little jokes. They laugh at us, and they say, look at them cats out there on the street corner. Right. Why don't they go get a job, man? Right? We doing our damn job out here. Right. right? We serving to the Lord out here. Right? We try, Like I said, we trying to build up that righteous treasure. Right? We trying to labor for that meat that ain't going to perish. Right? right? The uh, Yahweh Shah told us, the one they ignorantly called Jesus Christ, he said, go out and hit the highways and hedges. Beat right. them to the uh, marriage. Right? Right? We hate to come out here and see our women half naked. Right? Right? But we got to come out here and teach our people. Right? The Lord said, send our people out here to the highways and hedges so we can bid them to the marriage. Right? We're trying to speak to our people out here. Right? Let's see if our people want to hearken. Read what you got. 
the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. What the Lord say? They hate him that rebuketh in the gate. And they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. That's right, man. Our people want smooth words, man. Right? Our people don't our people don't like when we come out here and we read out this holy Bible, man. Right? Because our people love evilness, man. Our people love wickedness, man. Right? Our people don't want to hear the words of the Bible, man. All people want to come out to Glenwood Avenue, break the Lord Shabbat, and have a good damn time, man. Right? Get full of damn alcohol, and only the Lord knows what they're going to get into tonight, man. Right? That's why the Lord had to set the prophets out here, man. And they hate. That's a, that's a perfect preset, man. Because we crash their party when we do this. You see that? They hate us crashing their party. they like, man, let me come out here, and let me just have a good damn time. Right? Why the men of the Lord got to be out here? Why are they always getting on me about showing my body off? That's right. You see that? Why are they telling me to put these cigarettes out and put that blunt down? Right. right? Why won't they at least let me get drunk on the Lord's Day, man? This is madness, man. Right? But somebody got to do this job, man. Somebody has to bid our people to the marriage. That's why you go around city to city and you see men on the street corner reading out the Holy Bible. Right? right? Read that. You got, you got that precept again? Read that again for me, beloved. Huh. It's the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 10. Bring it out. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. They hate when you speak uprightly. Our people want smooth words. Our people want evil words. Our people want nothing but uh, madness spoke to them, right? That's why they That's why they can memorize all this ungodly music, but they know no scriptures out the Bible, right? When are our people going to wake up? When are our people going to return back to the Lord? Give me, uh, Hosea, uh, read what you got in Ecclesiastes. And pull me uh, Hosea 14 and 1. Read what you got, beloved. This is the book of Isaiah 30 and 9. That this is a rebellious people. What? That this is a rebellious people. What else? Lying children. Uh -huh. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. What else? Which say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceit. You see that? Prophesy deceit. Speak to us smooth words. Hey, let me ask you a question. Why does T.D. Jakes, Joe Osteen got all that big congregation? Why do they got all that? Uh, if they're speaking, to, uh, if they're speaking the words of the Most High, how are they getting that big congregation? Didn't it say Paul got killed? Right? Didn't didn't Christ get uh, hung off of a tree? Right? Make you see that? I thought the I thought the uh, the Lord said that the world would hate you, man. Right? Show me where the uh, the, the world hates T.D. Snakes. Show me where the world hates Buffalo Dollar Bill, right? Show, because he tells you exactly what you want to hear. He gives you smooth words. He says you can go out there and be a homosexual. You can go out there and break the Lord's Shabbat, right? Matter of fact, the law is done away with according to these men, right? All people love smooth words. They don't want to see men of the Lord out here in that righteous spirit, right? In that spirit of Moses, that spirit of David. They want you having that weak, effeminate spirit and say, hey, man, go do everything you want, man. That's right. right? Walk around like any kind of spirit you want. You can be